Well, hello, everyone. Uh, Supervisor Jim Desmond with you here on Wednesday, March 10th, with another COVID, uh, convoluted COVID update. Uh, I'll call it that uh, for today because, uh, you know, we're getting many calls in my office of people saying, hey, their, their, their uh, vaccination has been canceled uh, due, due to the, you know, the, the not enough vaccines out there, and why can't I get my second one, or where can I go to get my first one? You know, who's on first, and, and you know, when can I go get the, the, the vaccination? But I just want to give you, and I'm going to get a little bit further deeper into the weeds than I normally do, but the latest thing that the governor came out with last week was this Healthy Places Index for the vaccinations. So 40% of the vaccinations now, 40% of all the available vaccinations in the state of California have to go to zip codes who have a low Healthy Places Index. Not necessarily have the virus, but have this index that's low. And the index is based on income, education, housing, healthcare access, neighborhood, and clean environment. Now, I'm not saying anybody is not worthy uh, of, of getting the vaccination. We want to get everybody vaccinated at once. But this Healthy Places Index, uh, where 40% of the, uh, the vaccination is going to those zip codes that have a low index, COVID isn't even one of the criteria. So we know who is most vulnerable. The most vulnerable of those are the elderly. 95% of the deaths have been for, on people 50 years and older. You know, we got to the 65 range here for the, um, for the vaccinations, for, for people getting it. But we haven't, you know, the next stage should be the, whatever, the 50 to the 65s that, ha that have underlying conditions. But instead, the governor has convoluted this vaccination program, going away from the most vulnerable to going at, at these indexes, trying to make it an equity issue not an equal or not going after you know, the most vulnerable. So that's the latest nuance uh, as part of the, uh, the vaccination. The good news is we're almost in the red. Our numbers as of yesterday were at 8.8. .8. Uh, we need to get below seven per 100,000, and that's seven hundredths of 1% 1 of 100,000 people testing positive. We gotta get below seven, and, uh, and then we can go into red, which would allow restaurants to be open at 25%, gyms at 10%, uh, other indoor activities uh, at different levels uh, could be able to open up. But uh, unfortunately, you know, this vaccination program has gotten more political and more uh, uh, politically and ag agendized as opposed to going, who's the most vulnerable? Who's, who's gonna, who, who is potentially more, more risk of dying of, of, the, uh, of the disease? So sorry for the bad news to here today, but uh, hopefully we'll be in the red here shortly and get back to some sort of normalcy. Thanks for checking in.